What is up, party people? Belton here, back with another little crafting video. We are in uh, Affliction League. Uh, I think it's day 13 of the league now, working on our first mirror craft of the league. Um, I unfortunately missed about four days between Thursday and Monday of this week for some holiday festivities. And uh, when I came back, I noticed that TFT, uh, to their credit, had put up uh, basically a perfect Fizbo. Um, that's typically the first craft I'm going to go after in a league because it is the most lucrative and the most sought after, usually league over league. Uh, the second most popular craft uh, in terms of marketability is usually a elemental bow. Now, for this league, uh, if you go look on PoE Ninja, you'll notice that uh, around 20% of all players are playing either Tornado Shot or Lightning Arrow. And of those people, uh, like 85% of them are playing elemental-based ones, uh, which you can tell by looking up Trinity support um, with respect to LA and TS. Now, um, this is a bit of a chicken-and-the-egg situation because... You know, it might be that they're playing Elemental at the time being and planning on transitioning to Fizz because typically that's a bit more expensive. Um, however, this league, the barriers to entry for that are, are definitely a bit cheaper. Um, TFT's bow has a, a pretty high fee because they have no competition. Um, they're, they're kind of cornering the market a little bit there. So aside from the fact I wanted to have something to pursue, you know, the, the, the passion of pursuit is an important part of the game for me. Um, I, I thought that I could maybe get something out for the market that would be um, significantly cheaper. So uh, theirs is a 300 divine fee right now, which is pretty close to uh, a mirror, about three quarters of a mirror. Um, I'm hoping to get this done and put up for about 100 to 125, maybe 150 gems, depending on the cost. Uh, up until this point, it's about 10 or 11 mirrors I've spent. Um, but I thought you guys might enjoy watching this um, because we have put together uh, 150 Hinochorus locks. I had to use uh, three of them to uh, remove the uh, the other implicit or prefix here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys, uh, you know, what the reasons for the craft here. And then we're going to actually do the craft live for this video. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy watching that. Um, some of you might be curious as to why I have the um, meta or sorry, the uh, crafted mods lined up the way that I do. Um, I know for a lot of people, the traditional way to craft elemental bows would be to use uh, a deafening essence of either, um, you know, for the fire, cold, or lightning uh, until you hit another tier one mod. And then you would do uh, get two suffixes, so your suffix locks and put prefixes can't be changed, and then augment uh, for whatever your remaining one is. Um, the benefit of uh, doing the augment for the third mod as opposed to a fizz bow is that if you're doing augment fizz, um, you can, like when you're crafting a fizz bow, that is. You can hit Fizz Leached as Life, Fizz Leached as Mana, Fizz Hybrid, Flat Fizz, and Fizz Percentage. Whereas if you're doing Augment Cold Fire or Lightning, the only prefix that is Cold Fire or Lightning tagged is the Flat Damage. Um, not to mention the Tier 1 Flat Damage is uh, 126 weighting, whereas a Tier 1 uh, Merciless, the Fizz uh, Percentage, is a 50 weighting, and the same thing with Dictators. So on all fronts, it's significantly easier to craft. Um but uh, still very expensive in, in a cosmic sense, just in a relative term. That's why that price discrepancy tends to exist. Now, uh, the issue with the Essence Tier 1 is that uh, the, the Essence Flat is worse than Tier 1. Um, it's only slightly worse. It's somewhere between Tier 2 and Tier 1 in terms of strength. But it does mean that you're subjecting yourself to being beaten at some point by a true Tier 1. So uh, as you can see here, I decided to go for the natural Tier 1s. Uh, so we've got the, the No Essence Tier. Um, so it is objectively better. And then uh, there is another reason as well, which is uh, it's actually cheaper, believe it or not. Um, this is assuming you're using Hedacora's locks, but we'll just go over the math here quickly. So if you're augmenting for tier one cold while using the essences, the process would be to have your two suffixes and you put prefixes can't be changed. Um, then you're doing the add remove harvest. The odds to hit the tier one with the augment are uh, one in 95. Uh, you're paying two divines per meta mod and then 3.5 divines approximately at current market prices for that augment uh, with the harvest. Uh, if the augment does not hit, which is obviously going to happen 94 out of 95 times, you need to then scour your suffixes, which means you might have to recraft prefixes can't be changed. I actually didn't even include that in here. So that would be, uh, uh, that would happen one third of the time. So that would add um, an additional 70 divines of cost. Um, you're going to need to scour those because you want to use a Hinochor as lock and then in a null, right? So um, obviously you want, only want to have the three prefixes so that the null has a better chance to remove with the lock. Uh, but the cost breakdown of that would be, um, in total, it would be if you add uh, 3,135 divines, at, which is at current market price, 9.14 mirrors. Um, if you add the 70 divines, which you should, uh, which I just forgot about, uh, that would be about uh, 9.3 mirrors. Now, the way that we have it set up right, right now, oh, nice. Sorry, guys, 70 divine sale. That's definitely worth stopping for. Um, well, sorry, 69. Hey, 
who's an adult this guy um <clears throat> the uh the method we're using right now you can see that we have multi-mod uh fizz leached as mana and fizz leached as um life and uh, the reason for that is that um we're going to rather than using the hinakor as locks we're still using them uh but rather than using the locks uh as a way to remove um a mod prior to we're actually going to use the locks with exalted orbs right um and now that might seem a little bit crazy because you know there's so many potential prefixes um but i'll, I'll direct uh direct you here um if we take a look at If we take a look at bow prefixes, uh, you'll notice there isn't actually that many of them. Now, the overall weighting is 56,000, but the the most heavily weighted things are actually the flat elemental damage types. Uh, and as well, an interesting thing that only really exists with bows or this mod specifically is that uh, as a crafted mod, you can get fizz leached as life and fizz leached as mana as a suffix. However, despite the fact it's a suffix, it still blocks the prefix. So by having the lightning damage uh, and the fire damage on there as we currently do, that blocks 23,000 waiting, and then with our suffix, we can block another 2,000 waiting. So 25,000 waiting, which you can see here, would reduce, uh, it's almost half of the overall waiting on the mod. So if we look at the actual math on that, we can see that uh, here, this is the add remove, uh, which would take 95 augments, right? And then that means that you're going to need to use a Hinochorus lock three times on average. So that's 270, 285 Hinochorus locks. Now, if we take a look over here at the exalting, uh, this is a it's actually one in 250 you can see it's only going to cost us 250 locks on average to exalt it um so it, just on hinakor's locks basis it costs less but you also don't have to pay for the uh, harvest augmenting juice and all that stuff so um in terms of the actual cost value uh here the average cost would be 2752 divines or 6.88 mirrors so uh the exalting method saves us 2.26 mirrors in average cost it also allows us to have tier one tier one tier one instead of uh essence and then tier one tier one and uh it's also much much faster since you don't need to source all the material costs associated uh with harvest um and uh you know you don't have to constantly go back to the bench so that's where we're at with the craft uh in terms of the implicits i bought the bow base uh for five divines which was a super snipe it only had the tier one lightning damage on it um i used uh 1050 vultures and 700 cray chicks to get the attack speed and crit multi on there and then of course the gilded fossil and uh yeah, so the total cost uh, up until this point is about 10 and a half, 11 mirrors, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So uh, there's the explanation, and um, you know, with that being said, let's let's get right into it, guys. Uh, wish me luck. And of course, lock number one. All right, we hit the cold damage, tier seven. I like to hover with a, an exalted orb because it uh, it tends to uh, make people on YouTube very anxious. But I also just kind of like to see it as a thought experiment. Cold damage again to see what uh, would happen. Oh, faster projectiles. Um, sorry, if someone in guild can put in chromatic orbs in the guild sash for me, uh, we're going to need, I need 150 chromes. I forgot to prepare that. Um, for the YouTube folks, if, uh, uh, sorry, if uh, I run out, we might have to do a quick trade at some point. Just to, uh, that's that's how we're resetting the Hinakora's law. Oh, cold damage again. Tier 5. You can see three times in a row we've got cold damage. Uh, so tier 5 cold. Plus 2 bow. Fizz. Fizz hybrid. Nope, we're gonna hover with there. Flat phase. Oh, look at that! We hit lightning damage again. That's kind of cool. We have the uh, six to eighty-three and the volorb five to seventy-four. It's interesting. Uh, boo -boo -boo. Hit flat phase again. Oh, we got fizz percentage. Flat fizz again. Flat fizz again. Oh, we got attack speed there. Look at that. Attack speed replaced the attack speed. 
Uh, do I need chrome worms? Yes, I do. Let's see if anyone put them in the guild stash. No, they didn't. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. We need as many chromes as we have locks. So uh, remaining, I'll need 137. You can't mirror uh, a corrupted item. No, the, the reason I'm hovering with the Volorb is, is just for entertainment's sake. I like, you can hit plus one arrow, for example. I, it would just be cool to get a screenshot of the plus one arrow replacing the Gilded Fossil. Um, it, it's, you know, just because Hinacora's locks are pretty expensive, it, it feels like kind of a waste to, to only hover with the Exalted Orb. So I just like hovering with the Volorb for, um, uh, you know, just for a hypothetical sake. It's not something I would ever um, uh, click uh, accept on. Sorry for the uh, little pause here for the chromes for the YouTube folks. Oh, that's enough. That's more than enough. Uh, 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 I only need 100. Two in. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't know. The international sign of uh, I'm good. As you can tell, I'm a well-trained linguist. <laughs> uh, if you guys stick around after I'm done here, I'll pay you guys for those chromes. Just... Uh, uh, just give me a, a little bit here to go through that. All right. Appreciate that, fellas. Okay. Live fizz again. We started it off strong. We started off strong. Our first three were... Uh, cold damage. Oh, elemental damage of the tax. The first time we've seen that. We haven't had cold damage uh, pop up. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, man. The uh, the fire damage and the cold damage slaughter beneath it. I thought the, <laughs> the way that that looked, it made it look like the... Yeah, so my pregnant pause and my... <gasps> my breath that was taken away, I return it to you. We must give it back. Anyways, the, there we go. We got to hit the cold again. Oh, tier four, tier four cold. Okay, look at that. We whined about it, and now it comes back. Oh, there we go, flat fizz. Wine and you shall receive. Lesson learned. What's that hybrid? That's a tier four hybrid. Socket gems are supported by blind. Fizz percent. Mental damage with attacks. Faster. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a cool one. Look at that, guys. That, that's why Gilded Fossil. Sorry, for the people on YouTube, very, very frequently when I post things in the community section um, or any of the mirror crafts I've had most recently, um, people ask why people put the Gilded Fossil on. And this is, I'm obviously not going to click here, but this is the reason for that. Uh, so you can see how the socketed gems are supported by level 10 faster projectiles. That replaced the... Uh, you see how we have item cells for much more to vendors. This is the ideal situation for that to happen, where you maintain all three of your synthesis implicits, um, and the vol orb implicit replaces the um, the gilded fossil. So it's just like a way to get a, a free vol orb, uh, or sorry, a free vol implicit. Obviously, I'm not going to click that there, but um, I find that fun. Maybe we'll get a, should we get a little screenshot of that now. I'm not gonna only for plus one era, but yeah, that's that's the reason uh, you do that. Ooh, cold damage again. Tier 4 again. Try as I might, boys, despite the fact I've crafted literally hundreds of mirror items. Uh, I am going to do a... <gasps> I'm going to fanger all over my my potential things every time. Yeah, like No matter how much you play PoE, I feel like there's always that... that, that that initial feeling of excitement like you know i mean even, even those those of you who mf a shit ton i'm sure you guys probably still get excited when you hear that like um i don't know how to properly refer to it but the the sound a, a item filter makes when a expensive item drops it's hard not to I hybrid oh there we go we had it happen again right there so you can see the flat fizz uh, would have replaced the um gilded fossil uh so that's interesting Oh, cold damage again. That's a lower tier. Plus one to bow gems. Plus one to bow gems. Plus one to bow gems. 
cold damage, low tier. Well, look at that. The Vol Orb would have turned it into a plus three. <laughs> kind of cool. Okay. Plus threes back in the day were like, those were Giga Chat items when I first started playing. That was like pinnacle. You had that shit, you're playing Poison Arrow. Ooh, you were a wealthy man. That was back before a lot of people recognized uh, that you could use, you could force plus one all skills with uh, an exalt and the can't roll attack mods. That was like big, big news when that first came around. Into uh, popular consciousness. Okay. <laughs> plus one gems again. Hey, that's funny. We got the the mod as we talked about it. All right. Well, if that's if we can manifest these mods, ooh, damn tier three. Okay, that's our best one so far, boys. Tier three gold damage. Blah, cold, gold damage. Cold damage. Tier one cold damage. We're gonna manifest it. That's how the game works. Uh, socketed gems supported by blind. Tier one cold damage. All right. I feel like I'm one of those like sidewalk. Uh, Magicians in Vegas. All right, think of a think of a number, any number. Okay. Oh, shout out to the sixty nine, sixty nine wed. Oh, sorry, wed is no longer the name. Of the, 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 that mod used to be called uh, weapon elemental damage for a very long time, and it's now elemental damage with. Uh, attacks so if you ever hear myself or anyone say wed that's what they're referring to edwa would be the the correct uh short form for it now is that flaring oh flaring fuck you why can't this got flaring is the 200 weightings whereas cold is a uh cold is 126 weightings so the flaring is more common but the amount of times i've gone after t1 flat fizz on a uh <laughs> a fizzbo and uh you know fallen uh well below well below the average uh <laughs> uh in terms of luck um can't can't help but roll my eyes at that one hundred and twenty fizz percent Cold damage, that's a mid-tier. What's that, like tier 6? Tier 5? Sixty-one fizz. Socket gem supported by blind. Ooh, cold, 200. What's that? Oh, tier three again. Okay, tier three again. Got tier three twice. Plus one bow. Is that tier six? Tier five? Tier five? Flat fizz. Flat fizz. Um, yeah, sorry guys, please don't DM me when I'm when I'm crafting. I don't know what that those have to do with what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, for the people watching on Twitch, please uh, wait till I'm done with this if, you, if you're trying to hit me up for anything. Uh, especially if it's unrelated to what I'm doing. Uh, momentum. <laughs> okay, hybrid fizz. Hybrid fizz. I'll tell you when it starts to, like, obviously, each one of these locks is 
uh, you know, it's like 12 divs or whatever right now. So the amount of money which we're bleeding does not change based on the amount that we have. But the emotional... <gasps> oh! Yes! Yes! I am a god amongst men! Yeah! Oh. Let's go, baby. Boom! Oh, okay, let's get that baby. Let's get that baby! Oh. <laughs> let's hear some... Damn, boy! Damn, boy! He thick, boy! That's a thick ass ball! Oh, no skinny crafts around here, baby. Why, like I'm thick? Woo! Check the booty out on that craft. Let's fucking go! Hey, <laughs> Triple tier one, boys. And we've got 92 locks to spare. <laughs> All right, YouTube. There you go. The prefixes are done. For those of you who are mirror bow enjoyers and perhaps not a fan of monopolies and overpriced uh, price gougers and people who think that they know better than you and can dictate what you can say and how you should trade new 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 mirror bow coming to you today let's get it boys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed that as much as i enjoyed crafting it and i will see you soon youtube Boop.